Hey, Stina. Frieeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
That is really cool. All these Marvel Legends. Hey, this is pretty cool. Series one right there, baby. Can you guys believe that it is almost the 20th anniversary of this toy line? I still remember how excited I was when this line came out because I was way into Spider-Man classics, the line that predated it. Like these were mind blowing for me at the time. And of course, buying all these waves of Spider-Man figures and Daredevil was in there. It just made you want to see the other Marvel heroes done that way. And then boom, Marvel Legends was born. And I remember rushing out to Toys R Us and finding the entire first wave, Captain America, Toad, Hulk, and Iron Man. Although the Iron Man that I found wasn't this one, it was the chase figure, which was the gold one with kind of the horned mask. It's crazy that that was 20 years ago, and it's no wonder that that's totally got nostalgic feels now. It's amazing that this line's been going for as long as it has and seeing how far it's come, but there's still something so special about these first series figures here. Hey, I just, uh, I just found this guy in Texas and bought him for my son Spence. And they've got one of the other ones here. It's Argent, the Silver Dragon. No actual Fin Fang Foom up here, but still pretty cool that we've got another one of these just within a couple weeks of finding them. I know. All these Star Trek figures. Looks like most of them are about five bucks, which is perfect. I really do love this line. Some of them look like they're 10. What are these? Bitsy Bears. Does this look familiar to you, no. Stina? It, I don't think I've ever seen these before. I wonder if it would be like the dollar store version. No, of I mean it's Care Bears or something. A like dollar that. store version of Care Bears. Well, it's Tyco though, so this was definitely. I mean that's. Uh -huh. Not a dollar store toy. 1991. From Tyco. Interesting. This one is Rita Bear. Wind me up, and I really read. All right. That's cute. <laughs> And then we've got Flutter by Bear. Wind me up and I catch butterflies. Hmm. He mans. What'd you find? Magical collection figures. Oh my gosh, when we first started dating, like a million years ago. You bought me. I bought you one of these and it turned you into a collector of this line. Yeah, Tinkerbell was you the first one. Tinkerbell. So these were from Tomy, mm -hmm. and they were imports because I think these were released in Japan. Yeah, so, yeah. But these were like, at the time, I felt like these were some of the best representations of Disney characters in action figure form. We never see these anywhere. They're amazing. Are there any here that you need? All of them. You need all of these? I think so. I don't. This one I'm not 100% sure on. Genie? But I have the yellow one. I have the... There was like a gold version or something, yellow. right? Or it was a, yellow. There was a yellow version and a red version. So and then there's Mini, and then there's Canine Caddy Pluto, and there's Runaway Brain Mickey Mouse, and Snow White. Mm -hmm. Do you want these? Yes, I do. You do? Okay, Stina's got the first purchase of the day. <laughs> awesome. Are you going to get all of them? Yes. Okay. It's okay. You got it. Let's do it. We're getting them all. So this is my first time seeing the actual HasLab Sentinel. Oh, look at this thing. Man, this thing is a beast. Oh, that's rad. That is a big toy. Holy cow. I don't know, like, this is the old Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure Galactus. It's kind of amazing looking at those two side by side. I still have the Build a Figure Sentinel at home. Yep. I still have that one, but it's so weird seeing them side by side. I bet. I bet. Yeah. I bet. Yeah. yeah, that looks really nice. I did not. I did not go in on this one. Just didn't really feel like I had the space for something like this. It's not one of my primary collections, but very cool. It's very cool. Here's the here's the box for the Sentinel. It's just. Look, there's Christina. Here's the box for the Sentinel. <laughs> you want to stand there? There you go. It's so big. <laughs> it's more than half of you. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs>
remember them having all these last time I was here too, but it's still always awesome to see just like a good stock of figures from the 2003 toy line. Lots of carded ones here. Oh, that I'm just throwing everywhere. <laughs> Here's a good selection of uh, 2000X Masters up here. Look, they got both versions of Ram Man. The gold one and the silver one. We got an Orco. Prices aren't too bad either. 25, 20. There's a Cyclone. There's a Too Bad. Battle Sound Skeletor, one of my favorites from the line. <laughs> Jungle Attack He Man. Triclops and Battle Sound He Man. Yeah. I feel like I see less and less of these out there, so I always got to point them out when I run across them. Yo, check out the Ronin Warriors. So I had a bunch of these, and it's weird. Like, uh, it was definitely in in that stage where like I was starting to get back into toy collecting. Like I was I was in high school, and so I was buying mostly just Star Wars figures, Power of the Force stuff. And then I remember going to Big Lots of all stores, and they had all of these, all of these Playmates Toys Ronin Warriors figures, and they were super cheap, and I didn't know anything about them. I've never, I know that they're from an anime, and I know that I think there was a localized show too. I didn't know anything about them, but I thought they looked cool, and I bought them. So I, I actually, these were some of the first non-Star Wars figures I bought as a collector it's kind of crazy i don't really ever talk about that and i forget about it a lot but every time i see them i kind of get that little like oh yeah and i get that little bit of a nostalgic buzz from them i had this guy this guy he's very cool so i'm just sitting here opening these in the store oh that's okay <laughs> i just thought it was cool because they got this big bulky armor and they've all got these helmets that you can put on them and they look cool but they got these really weird features where they are all springs look all of their articulated pieces are like springs up in the shoulders so like they their legs and everything have this weird snapback and it's funny because playmates toys who is well known for reusing a lot of their action features throughout their lines uh, also put out some ninja turtles toys around the same time called coil force that was the exact same build the weird springs and all the joints so you just kind of see there i'm just throwing things everywhere now this is a lunchbox I don't see very often. Look at the artwork on this one. I love it. I love it. This totally is like the evil in from the card back artwork, but it's funny in the context of this battle scene because who the heck is she casting this spell at? Like, Ram Man's like right here, ramming Skeletor in the face, and Evil In's just like, don't worry, I got this. <laughs> go so, as I'm told, this is an extremely rare Sergeant Slaughter. I don't think I've ever seen one of these in person before, but this is super rad. That's nice. Maggots. All right, so the store is great. It's awesome. But this is where things get really exciting. I got to do this last time I was here too, but I've been given free reign to look around in the back of the store. And this is amazing because they've done so much work in here since the last time I was here. All these amazing shelves and all these bins. You see all this back here? These are chock full of figures, accessories, pieces so that they can piece together things to sell in the store. It's unbelievable seeing this stuff. So we're going to walk around back here and I'm just going to see if there's anything that stands out. Anything that jumps out at me that I might want to pick up. I gotta start by showing just the way that they've got all of these action figure carry cases like crammed into the wall over here to display them. But how cool is that? I love action figure carry cases. Of course, there's a ton of He-Man ones. There's like a real Ghostbusters. There's a couple of X-Men ones, Ninja Turtles, Star Trek, Beetlejuice. I can't believe the Beetlejuice figures got a carry case. Everything used to get a carry case, man. Look at all these bins. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Just swinging all the way around. Look at all these battle cats. Definitely going to be looking at these battle cats. Um, Unreal. Look at all these masks. So these are from that Chile find. We've heard people talking about it. I think uh, we were just talking about that when I was down at Dallas Vintage Toys as well. So it's unreal to see just all these uncirculated mask vehicles that are just out there now that all these places have. So cool. Firefly, 
bullet meteor how cool is this man this is so neat oh hold the phone so there's a bunch of panthors up here but look at this look at this so what's going on here is that they used a green molded cat which of course would normally be for battle cats but they flocked it purple for panthor and this one is not in great shape all the flockings peeling off but it's totally revealing the green underneath see look there's several panthors up here and primarily panthor has a black body here here's a good example right here so you can see it's just a black cat body underneath and then they flocked it purple but there are some out there where they just use the green battle cat molds and added the purple flock to them to make panthor and i've actually been looking for some of these for my collection this one is really wild because all the flocking is peeling off of it, but this is still something that I am very interested in. So we are going to put this in the pile. We're going to talk about this. I think I'm going to see if I can get this to come home with me. That is so cool. And yes, I am the guy who was just standing next to a mountain of mask toys and got more excited about a panther whose flock is coming off. I can't change who I am. All right, here I am again on my Battle Cat stuff. Um, <laughs> there's a whole bunch of Battle Cats lined up here. And as you guys probably know, if you've been watching my toy hunts, this has become a new favorite thing of mine to do, is to look at all the Battle Cats and just see all the differences in the paint decos and the colors. And when you get them all lined up like this, you can really see it. Like, for instance, this guy back here has very vibrant orange stripes. This ones are a little bit more subdued. And then you kind of come down here and like, this is definitely a yellow striped one. Orange stripe, yellow stripe. This one's got very bright orange stripes. And look at that sloppy paint deco. There's like yellow paint just like bleeding down. How crazy is that? Plus there's always the little differences like the white dots in the eyes. Usually that means that they were produced earlier in the line. And later on, they stopped putting the white dots in like this guy right here. You can see his pupils are just black. There's no white dots. This guy right here is like super faded. And I think this is just the, like a sun fade or something because I, he's just a, he's a Taiwan from 84. I checked him a little bit ago. He's definitely one of the later ones. There's no white pupils in the eyes, but man, some of the colors on these are great. And then like I was looking through them just a little bit ago. This one right here really stood out cause he's got more of like a, almost like off white, like a yellowish stripe here. And looking at him, He's got a Mexico stamp. So this one is from Mexico rather than Taiwan, like most of them usually are. And I don't think I have a Mexico battle cat in my collection, so I'm probably gonna add this to the pile too. Always love adding new battle cats to my, to my collection at home. So I'm gonna try to get in here so you can see it a little closer. It's hard to film it, but it says 82 Mexico. So I pulled off the armor too, and you can see that we got Mexico on the armor. So that's actually the armor that came with it, most likely. So that's pretty rad. So right under all these battle cats, we got all these Joe vehicles here. Look at this, couple of Sky Strikers. Oh, we got an X-Wing. We got, we got the Hoff over here. Yeah. We got this guy. I, don't, I do not know what this is. We were talking about this a little bit ago too. He looks like... Uh, an Inhumanoid. Maybe he's like a knockoff of Inhumanoids or something. He just has a China stamp on him, I think. Um, yeah, it just says Made in China. I have no idea. Oh, wait, here we go. Oh, 1986 Soma Toys. Okay. All right, I did some Googling right here on the spot. It's from a line from Soma called Monster Man. Look at these guys. And there's our, there's our guy right there. Very interesting. I like that. Okay, this table is pretty bonkers right here. And I think he said a lot of this was stuff that they were gearing to take over to Retro Toy Con. Um, look at all this carded stuff. This is amazing. Like, so many G.I. Joes in here. I had this Destro. Oh, I had that Big Bear. That's amazing. Look at all these. Some silver hawks over here. Ooh, baby. Ultrasonic suit steel wheel. There's Monstar. 
Oh, an ultrasonic suit bluegrass. Holy cow. Bunch of real Ghostbusters over here. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is where this is where I really start drooling. There is a pretty amazing assortment of Cardin Ninja Turtles here. This is an expensive stack right here. So first of all, there is Warrior Metalhead Michelangelo. One of those later releases. I totally remember seeing this guy like hanging on KB's toy store shelves when I was in high school. Of course, wasn't really buying these at the time. $450. Yeah, that's a that's a high-end one right there, guys. That's a big one. Here's the I love this figure. The mini Krang Android body. Man, there's so much of them here. Bebop, Baxter. So a lot of these look like the re-releases from the mid-90s. That would have been at KB. And then these over here, look at this stack. These are the Ninja Power. Ninja Turtles card back. So these were celebrating the 10th anniversary of the line. So a lot of these are just reissues, but they're all on this new style card back. So look at this. We got, there's a Mutate and Toka. Head Drop and Don. So it's like a lot of the same turtles that we got earlier on. Yeah, there's Mutate and Donatello. See, like normally the Mutate figures came in boxes, but around the 10th anniversary, look, $3.94 at Walmart once upon a time. Ugh. There's Beachcomb and Mike. Man, these, these are amazing. I never see these. Not on these card backs. Spike and Volley Don, Lifeguard Leo. Unbelievable. Stina, I would really like to buy all these very expensive Ninja Turtles. Okay. Yay! <laughs> I don't have that money. <laughs> oh, God. There's a carded Catra. And I think there was another. Was there another? Yeah, there's a Glimmer over here with all these slime pits. So do they automatically turn yellow? The bubbles? Yeah. Yes, it's very common for the bubbles, especially I've noticed on the She-Ra figures, uh, to turn yellow like that over time. And, you know, I know people have always speculated that it maybe was in a home with a smoker, but I also think that this is just the plastic breaking down over time, honestly. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily think it's just from smokers homes that's, that's what i thought too but there's too many there's too many of them yep and the shira ones specifically i see them yellow like this all the time so it's got to just be the plastic breaking down which happens which happens in fact that's the real sad thing like this whole room right here this stuff is not going to last forever eventually all this stuff is just going to break down now hopefully that'll be long after we're like, not here anymore. Not, not, in <laughs> not in our time. I see this pretty impressive stack of Ghostbusters here that I got to show you guys. First of all, that's amazing. <laughs> but look, he's got the Ecto Glow Ghostbusters in here. Holy moly. Those are amazing. And there's Egon. Looks like he's got all of them. Winston. And this, this whole stack here is Ghostbusters. Look at this. Mini traps. He's even got some of the vehicles. Ecto-2 is over here. I love. Oh, this one's like in a German packaging, but I've always loved this one too. Water Zapper. I love this Street Fighter 2 uh, Rock'em Sock'em type of set back there. That's awesome. This has got to be, this is Visionaries, right? It's got all these holograms on it. Maybe? It says Hasbro, so yes. That's cool. Also, there's a Fortress of Fangs right there. Wow. We should probably look at some of these, just, just so you guys can see. Like, look at the way he's got all these labeled. Like, he, he has so many of a lot of these vehicles that he has whole totes. Look at this. In some cases, multiple totes dedicated to just those specific things. And here's... Here's a whole bunch of Prince Adams. Just yeah, like yeah, here you go. Dread. All the Stridors, look at that. Yeah. Bunch of figures. Uh, here's just a bunch of Mecha Necks down here. Yeah. Clawfuls, yep, Point Dread and Talon Fighters. Road Rippers, this is crazy. Oh, Battle Rams, Rotons. Rotons, Star Wars Vintage X-Wings. Bunch of Plastic Army Men, this is so cool. Look, <laughs> Toy Biz Toy Fair Mailaways. <laughs> Unbelievable. He's even got some smaller bins here with some more 
obscure stuff like Mighty Ducks, <laughs> Space Jam, Robotics, Chuck Norris, Mega Force. Yes, I love Mega Force. Buck Rogers. Oh, he's got like Guts, Trash Bag Bunch, Z Bots, Savage Mondo Blitzers, Secret Wars, Superhuman Samurai, Cyber Squad. And Micro Machines, and Hook, and Mighty Max, and Smurfs, and Ben 10. Oh my. Power Rangers figures, Power Rangers figures, Rassle Dudes. So we're, we're going through the back, and I was looking at stuff, and Ryan, the owner, comes running back, and he's like, hey, uh, you should come outside real quick, because somebody just brought a whole bunch of G.I. Joes that they want to trade in. So this is right here. This is a day in the life of Toy Federation. Apparently, they get giant trades like this every day, which is amazing. So let's take a peek. Let's see what kind of stuff is being brought to the store right now. So here's the bottom of this. Look at this stuff. This is awesome. It's like a whole trailer bin full of it. He's wheeling and dealing over here. So this was packed away in 1996, it looks like. June 25th, 1996. Yeah. Oh, it's got the newspapers of the date. That's yeah. amazing. It's packed away for 27 years. Wow. So this is... Uh, Mattel, 80, 85. Yeah. So that'd be Hot Wheels. Yeah, Hot Wheels. it's the little Hot Wheels place. So you must be fixing the bank. This box is going to wow. be a little tough because it's... Oh, it's so heavy. <laughs> like a hundred pounds. <laughs> so this is Wolverine. Oh, there's a dude in here. Oh, look at that. Yep. Interrogator. One of them all. One of them all. Amazing. Yeah, about a cup. Slam. Slam. Yep. Is that Toss and Cross? Mm -hmm. Oh, here's another bin. So this is the Desert Fox. Yep. Unbroken antenna, which is a, makes no sense being in this box. I love watching this because the way he's just pulling all this stuff out knows exactly what it is. Like if that was He-Man, I'd have that in the bag, right? This is all. This is all not my stuff. So it's really cool watching him just like, oh, this is this, this is that, this has got, this has got the. It's so fun. This is cool. <laughs> oh, look at that. Paperwork. This is cool. That is cool. Look at that. All the file cards and everything. That's so cool. I always love it when you see that those were saved. I always threw that stuff away. Oh, yeah, the kid, you know. Always did. They're stalking. So cool. That's Arthur. It's Arthur Burke. Yeah, yeah. Destro <laughs> played stalker. Yeah. The seatbelt. The seatbelt. Oh. Which is just this little piece. Yeah. That would hold all your guys in the seat. And those are always missing? Yeah, that's yeah. scary. Yeah, wow. And then this, usually the top straight row. I can see it. That's awesome. Yeah, so this one's all here. That's great. Wow. It's really, it's really amazing. Like this is just really fun to watch. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him keep wheeling and dealing out here. We'll probably have to catch up and see what the the whole hall looks like when he gets it inside, but. I wanna go, let's go keep digging. Let's go see what else we can find inside. And some of this stuff we haven't even had a chance to sort. Oh, nice. And okay. Maybe something in there you like. Okay. Looks like some Remco stuff, so we'll definitely dig through that. Oh yeah, I love all these. Oh, there's Toxic Crusaders have been too. Ooh, now, it's yeah. It's not all Remco. Right. But it's, you know. It's similar style to all these 5.5 figures. Yeah. yeah, very cool. Uh, you guys had the AWA ring out there too. What, what do you got? What price you guys got on that? I'm sure that's a um, high. I think it's, I think it's three. Three? Okay. Uh, it might. Oh, it's the tail for Snake Man. <laughs> I was just talking. I need this tail, just the tail. But like, holy cow, Mike! Because this dude is always. Yeah, missing that tail it is always off of there yeah yeah this is one of the warrior beast figures i saw there's another one down here too which is another one that i need actually he's he usually has like a fur uh yeah cape cloak thingy i mean we've got some stuff oh you there, do have but, some stuff but but i mean it's i don't remember seeing that yeah specifically 
Legion of Road Warriors in here. Legion of Doom, whatever mm -hmm. you want to call them. But Road Warriors, these are, I mean, this is AWA, so these are Road Warriors. Right. right. Um, Hercules. Yep, there's Hercules. Not sure if there's a way to repair those legs. And, uh, Conan. Yep, Conan. Yeah, these legs are all busted, but yeah. still cool. Oh, yeah, there's another one with an arm missing. Another yeah. warrior beast. Ah, but still. There's two that I definitely... What else is in here? I, when I was a kid, I had Skull Man, so... Oh, look at this dude. Oh, Skull Man's awesome. I yeah. have a Skull Man at home now. I love him. And I, I did find one at a flea market, maybe... 15 years ago and got him for a dollar. Nice! But That's I, a super good score on that figure. I just got him because I liked him. I, I, did, I didn't realize he was so so pricey. I love this dude, but boy, what is all... His face is a wreck. <laughs> Look at that. Jeez, uh, I wonder if that would clean up. This is just for signings. It's Jason, Jason, uh, Daniel Harris. Look at this dude. This is amazing. Uh, Jim, uh, Baroness, Oh, look at Shipwreck. That. that was first year. Skeletor. I don't even have Ryan Buck, the original. So the, you, you make these so that they can autograph the pictures? Like the voice no, actors? No, we, or is that what? Well, the, 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 the printer will put in the placard. Oh, so, cool, so like, cool. Okay. So it'll usually we put like whatever relevant jail they would go to. Sure, sure. And it's usually the voice actor's birthday. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That is really cool. <laughs> Spider-Man. Oh, so cool. Uh, Sergeant Slaughter, and then this one's yours. What? <laughs> Holy cow, look at that. Mosquito, is Mosquito going to be at the show? <laughs> oh, this is amazing, though. Holy cow, I love it. The blood looks so good. Dude, that's incredible, man. Thanks, man. I love it. This table right here is filled with box stuff, and this is all stuff that they're prepping to take over to the convention. Uh, but it's all just sitting here. It's pretty amazing to see it. Look at this. A bunch of carded army ants up here. Oh my gosh, I love, love this line. And I always love seeing them in package. Look at that. So cool. Also, uh, here's a Dune Spice Scout. Just go ahead and file this under things that I never see, but then see them all at the same time. We were just talking about this. In fact, I was just talking about this with Pat uh, at Retro World Expo. And here it is again. <laughs> got some vintage Star Wars here. We got some G.I. Joe. Oh, we got Turtles. Look at this. There's a boxed sewer playset. Is this Sailor Moon? Got some Sailor Moon dolls. Sewer Dragster. Shredder Mobile. Toilet Taxi. The Flush O Matic. Retro Catapult. Turtle Trooper. And look at this a boxed Real Ghostbusters Firehouse playset. That's right next to a, an Imperial Shell. There's some seriously good stuff over here. Oh, the Cobra Bug. I may not know a lot about Joe, but I know I've always loved the look of this vehicle. That's cool. Oh, yeah. We got some LJN wrestlers up here. Oh, Roddy Piper. Cool. Ewok Village. Oh, boy. All right. So here's a boxed Castle Grayskull in Snake Mountain. Here, I'm curious. What's... uh? I am the voice of Snake Mountain, so that's the same one that I just got. The first release says, I am the spirit of Snake Mountain, and then they changed it to voice. Yeah, so so I, multiple versions of just the box? Just the box, yep. So I just got a boxed uh, Gray Skull and Snake Mountain at Retro World Expo, which was kind of one of my big uh, pickups, but guys, look what's next to it. There is a freaking boxed Fright Zone in here, and now suddenly... Now that I've got myself a beautiful boxed gray skull on Snake Mountain, do I need a Fright Zone to complete those? <laughs> I might have to look more into this one. I'm curious. I'm curious what condition this is in on the inside. I'm curious about the puppet, if it's in there, what condition it's in. We're going to at least ask about this. We have to. I have to. Oh, I love the old Toy Biz Batman figures. This gold packaging. I just love it. So we got a Batwing, we've got Batmobiles, and we got the Joker van. Joker van's a good one. Look at that. 
Ooh, dang. Look at that Megatron. Wow. Here we go. Here's a nice little random thing that I'm definitely going to throw in my pile to ask about. So, not a Meteorb. Probably a Tamagoras or one of the other similar releases. But this is definitely one of those old Bondi um, egg figures. And I feel like I keep finding different versions of these lately. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this in my pile. We're going to ask about this, too. Cobra la 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 la. These are so cool. Yo, I found gold, you guys. It's Pogs. Look at Pogs. Oh, Apollo 13 Pogs. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that rad hollow foil sticker. The 90s. Oh, look at this little drawer I just found here. Dragon Blaster Skeletor Dragon Heads. Look, look at this. A whole little thing of glow rings. Faker armor. Sarad's gun. That's a big one. Look at that Thunder Punch weapons. Real Blast weapons. Tila's armor. Look at that. Terror Claws. Orko's magic trick. Oh, wow. This one just says rare. What's in it? Yeah, there's a uh, blue Webster gun variant in here, which is a rare variant. And I don't think I have one of these in my personal collection, so I'm gonna at least ask about it. Doesn't hurt to ask. Also, there's a mosquito gun in here, and those things have become like gold now. <laughs> it's one of those harder to find accessories. He's got one in there. Look at all the armor. Ooh, hey, that's the red, red rib. Hordak armor. That's the variant. The Dragon Blaster Skeletor is in here. Lots of Web Store, Fisto, Stinkor, Horde Trooper. Holy cow, this is amazing. I love this workstation over here. Look at this, where they're just piecing together Joes and accessories, getting Joes all ready to go so that they can price them and throw them up in the store. It's so cool. Got some real magic happening up here. Look how nice this guy looks now. That face looks so much better. And uh, Snake Man too. Snake Man looks great. Awesome. I'll probably definitely have to add this guy to my pile. There you go. He looks good. Oh yeah, and there's that tail. There it is. The real treasure that I'm taking home today. <laughs> Oh, talk about something I have always wanted. This He-Man store display is so incredible. Oh, I love this. All right, so we're going to get a closer look at everything that's inside this Fright Zone package. First of all, the puppet. The puppet. Look at that thing. Oh... Wow, that is amazing. I almost don't even want to touch it because these things are so fragile these days, but yeah, that looks so good. Look at that. That looks like it was never even like used or played with or anything. It doesn't appear to be. That's insane. Look at that. Yeah, very nice tree. It's awesome. Yeah, these branches are always broken when I find these loose. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, so the back's got a little bit of water damage on it. But the front of it, the display side actually looks really nice. Oh, it is tempting. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to see everything else that I bought and we will make a decision on if this is something I'm gonna go for this time or if I'm gonna save this for another time. Okay, so here's my pile so far. We're totaling it up. I've, I've honestly, I've got some things that are a bit on the pricey side. So here's what I've got in my pile so far. I got Snake Man and Wolf Warrior from the Warrior Beast line. I've got a Defenders of the Earth guy, uh, which is amazing looking. I got my little Tamagora or Meteorb guy here. We've got Stina's stack of magical collection figures. I've got my 
Panthor with uh, the Battle Cat body, my Mexico Battle Cat, a couple of Ben 10 figures for our little boy Spencer at home who loves Ben 10, and the actual most expensive thing in this entire assortment right here, the blue web store gun. So we're gonna see what all this totals up to, then I will make a decision on the Fright Zone. Honestly, I might just pass on the Fright Zone today. I think there will always be other opportunities, but man, that puppet, I don't know. We'll see, guys. So that is gonna be a wrap on my second visit to Toy Federation. So I don't wanna disappoint you guys, but I decided to pass on the Fright Zone at this time. It was an amazing box, amazing puppet, but with the things that I had already picked up, like I said, I had already kind of hit that threshold of what I wanted to spend today, but I got some really amazing things. Very happy with my haul. Stina's happy with her haul. Got some great stuff. So if you are ever in this area, I believe this is actually Greer, South Carolina, uh, but in the Greenville area, definitely make sure you come check out Toy Federation. Amazing staff here. Really great selection. Definitely worth your time. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time.